We rolling? We're going. What's up guys, it's Puts. Uh, we got a video that was probably long overdue. We got an Apex Pro and an Apex. Uh, just gonna compare the two, kinda so you can see the stability differences between these two bases. Uh, and then we also just have a weight adjustable pneumatic base just to kinda be, what's that? What is it, our uh, control? Uh, just to kind of yeah. show that like, you know, this is going to be a lot more, it's going to move a lot more than the Apex Pro. And I just want to make sure we're not, you know, putting that in bad light when the whole two leg industry is going to be pretty wobbly at max height. So just to get it out of the way, we got over 500 pounds. We got 450 pounds in plates, um, 75 pounds on the top. So over 500 pounds on here, uh, nothing on here, but just, just to show that it's got no problem. Hmm. I want to grab a tape measure, but so you know, at at. at I, at 48 and a half, it says 50, it's kind of adjusted already for a solid wood top. You can go in there and adjust it all the way. Um, you know, monitor wobble is pretty much non-existent with uh, 500 pounds on here. Uh, same thing on here, you know, monitor wobble is not gonna move. What you are gonna notice is this. And like I said, this is pretty much on, on all bases. And I just, you know, I didn't want to showcase it compared to the Apex Pro because it literally is night and day difference. Like, you know, I, I can't get this to move. Uh, I mean, I, you know, the it does have side to side. A little bit. You know, well, I mean, I would say, but so does this. Uh, really, that's what the Apex Max is going to be for. It's really going to uh, tighten up on that side to side motion. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know why anybody needs to worry about somebody hitting it from the side all day long. Um, but, you know, we're doing that. We're also going to do it in the two stage. So it's, it's going to be more stable than this, but it's going to cost more. So um, let's get this back lower down. We'll get these weights off. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do a little. So let's go to a reasonable height, 41.4. That's close enough. I mean, there's absolutely. Just doesn't move. <laughs> it doesn't move compared to any two leg. Yeah, I mean. I don't know, let's get this close. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is actually pretty tall. That's not too bad. No. But again, when I have this out here. So let's get these all the way down. Uh, one question we get a lot is about um, collision detection and all that stuff. Yes, we have it on all of our bases. It's pretty much industry standard. Any company that doesn't offer like collision prevention, there's no such thing as prevention. There's no sensors under there that are gonna like stop it from hitting it. It's gonna hit it. The gyros are gonna notice that uh, the motors are working harder and then it's gonna reverse it. So let's go all the way down. Definitely wouldn't want this base going sideways with uh, 500 pounds on it. So there you go, stops, reverses. That's pretty much all of our bases do that. It doesn't matter the Zenith, the Kydee, the Apexes. Uh, I will say our Zenith, we have it going out with really high settings. So it takes a lot of force to get it to trigger, but you can adjust that. Um, let's get this lower. How are we doing on time? Four minutes. All right. Cool. A little over. Nice. All right, let's get these boys low.
So I wanted to show you guys something new that we added to the store lately. And more importantly, something we're gonna be throwing in for free for any base, well, any base and solid wood top purchase, you're gonna get this new burn power unit. Um, basically, you have six outlets underneath, you have a triple on top, and then what's also cool is the fact that it's Bluetooth, so, or wireless. Man, how did I cut myself? So I'll raise it up, and then I'll show you. So along with that, we're gonna include a cable snake with any hardwood and base purchase. Doesn't matter whether you get the Pro or the Apex, uh, we're gonna throw that in. One thing that you'll notice is it's pretty thin, so you'll have no problem with these sticking out, but also included, and I'll show you, are Velcro straps, so you can Velcro it to the side, and the screws will stick out sideways. That way it doesn't stick out and get in the way of your legs. So again, monitor wobble, this is without any weight on it. I mean, you got your 70 pound, pound top and 10 pound monitor arm. I mean, non-existent. Oh man, we didn't even pour crown yet. I know it. Oh man, I, should we restart? No, just kidding. All right, let's get this boy up. So, I mean, I don't see, I mean, I see a little bit of bouncing around. We brought these out just to help out, but you know, I don't see anything, but again, wobble. Like no wobble. I mean, the monitor arm is gonna wobble, but in terms of this entire desk, no, no way. So uh, going back to the burn unit, it's uh, basically, they call this a twine unit. So you're gonna get two of these below. And this is going to go on top. The ones that we ordered in to ship, this has a peel and stick, so it rests right on top. The ones that we ordered, it has an edge mount, so it actually is going to be kind of like a monitor clamp, so you can clamp it and not have to worry about having um, uh, residue or anything on your surface. So pretty much underneath, well, you got this, and then if I can get this untangled. So you'll have six outlets underneath. And then you'll have this on top. And what's really awesome about this is the fact that basically it keeps all your cords up top and then you only have one cord going down the cable snake to your power outlet. And so whether you put the cable snake here on the left in the center, uh, it just keeps things really clean and organized. And then it comes with a whole bunch of uh, little cable clamps. You also have the Velcro. So what you do is you take two of these and put these right here and here. And then underneath on the metal J channels, you can mount them sideways. That way all your plugs go in sideways and they don't stick down and hit your leg. So that's something we're going to be doing. I got a really good deal on a whole bunch of them. Uh, I think like 200 of them. Uh, so as long as we have them, we're going to keep doing it. So any hardwood purchase with uh, Apex legs, Zenith legs, whatever, OMT legs, uh, that and a cable snake will be included. Uh, you'll just... We'll figure out how, and then basically if you don't do a hardwood top, if you do HPL, we're probably going to do that and the cable snake 50% off. Uh, I wish we had those kind of margins, but what is happening is basically we're shipping so much out, our rates on freight and shipping are getting less, so we're trying to add more and create an entire package uh, for a better price compared to everyone else, and we do need a pork crown. We're getting there, guys. I'm doing some work on that. Cheers to 6 o'clock on a Tuesday. 6.30. 6.30. Woo! At the warehouse. We live here, guys. Well, I do. It's hard to get Andy to come in. No, I'm just kidding. I'm here quite a damn bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so back to just comparisons. I mean, one thing I want to do, let's send them all the way to the bottom. For 10 minutes. And show what we probably should have shown also a while ago. You know, that, that min minute little monitor wobble that people see and they complain about, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're at the lowest setting. 
like I'm gonna get the monitor to move. Like it's just the way it is. You know, right here, it's gonna move. It's gonna, well, <laughs> not much on this one. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be very small. But um, I mean, this is the difference. I mean, this is an $800 base. This is a $400 base. Um, that's an $800 base, but I mean, whether it's this pneumatic base, whether it's a Hayworth Plains, a Herman Miller Renew, or I mean, they're the same base, um, they're gonna move. And those are over 800 bucks. So, you know, when it comes to buying something and buying the best you can for the best price, I mean, it's gonna be that one. And really, you know, this is our second version. The first version, we didn't have the feet. What we found was when we have the independent feet without the, or the independent columns without the feet, it, it allows you to, when you push on it, it wants to put all the weight on the bottom and kind of tip. For here, when you push on it, it's just gonna slide. Um, you know, again, let's go to 42. Well, let's do a little higher. Right, let's just go to the top. I mean, that's what you're getting. to that so I would say it's a pretty big difference uh, again you're not gonna get you know just type it away you should be completely fine but you know I can move this with one hand you know that's what we're gonna get to so you know 800 bucks 400 bucks I don't know if you guys want to buy something once get this also buy some white oak you know a lot of people we've been buying I've been buying the walnut and we have a pretty decent amount of this stuff in stock. I do think there's still the discount to get 200 bucks off uh, a solid white oak over walnut. So check that out. But otherwise, again, I want to keep this short and sweet. So thank you guys all. Uh, Jesus, thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any other questions. You want to see any other videos, but that's all for now. Thanks.